25th of August League Code Challenge. The problem that we have in today's ransom note. I believe most of the subscribers of Coding Decoded will be able to solve this question by themselves as it is a fairly easy problem. However, those who are new, here is a solution. Even before jumping on to the details of the algorithm, let's quickly try and understand the question first and then we will move on to the presentation. Here in this question, we are given two strings, ransom note and magazine. What we need to do? We need to check if ransom note string can be constructed using the letters or characters from the string magazine. If it is possible, then we need to return true. If it is not possible, in those cases, we need to return false. Let's take few examples so that we get a better clarity of the question. Here, ransom note string is given to us as double A. That means uh, the magazine should have two A's in it so that ransom note string can be generated. However, what do you see here? You see here there is only single A present. As a result of which, you cannot generate ransom note string from the letters or characters that are present in magazine as a result of which we will return false. And this is what the algorithm is. Had there been the case here in in the magazine string, the value would have been double A B or A B A. The frequency of A would have been two in those cases and ransom note string would have been generated and we would have returned true in those cases. To conclude it further, let's quickly walk through the presentation and I'll talk about the algorithm there and then itself. So, uh, algorithm. I have taken a slightly different case where the ransom note string is given to us as double AC and the magazine value is given to us as A, A, B, C. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to count the frequency of each character that exists in the ransom note. So what is the frequency of A? The frequency of A happens to be 2. What is the frequency of C? The frequency of C happens to be 1. Similar thing I'm going to do for the magazine as well. So A happens to be 2 and B happens to be 1. C happens to be 1. Now what I am going to do, I am going to reiterate over all the characters that are part of the ransom node and I will check the corresponding frequency in the magazine map. So this is for the magazine map and this is for the ransom node map and the first character that we see is A. So we check whether the frequency of A in the magazine map is greater or equal to the frequency of A in the ransom node map. So this is equal that means it's a happy case. We move on to the next character which is C. C, C. C frequency is 1 over here. C frequency is again 1 over here. Again it is a happy case because uh, 1 C is needed and it is found in the magazine string. And with this we have completed the iteration. Therefore we will return true as a final answer. Had there been the case, the C frequency would have been 0 over here. We would have returned false. To conclude it further, let's quickly walk through the coding section and finalize the code. First of all, I would like to thank Saurav for submitting the solution on Coding Decoded GitHub repo. So this is a link guys where you will find solutions of daily lead code problems for various months. We started this journey back in August 2020 and from past two years we have been doing uh, daily lead code problems consistency, consistently and also subscribers of Coding Decoded raise the pull request on regular basis. So few do it in C++, others do it in Java. So as you can see, sort of submitted uh, the solution today itself and the solution is ransom of ransom note is taken from his code which is this one i have just uh, updated the name of the variable from hash to frequency it's a simple algorithm guys uh, as i talked in the presentation as well here we count the frequency of each character that is present in magazine we iterate over the ransom string node and instead of uh, counting the frequency of each character in a separate variable we are basically reducing the frequency of the same character by one and in case the frequency goes lower than zero that means we'll have to return false in those cases the advantage that we get by this approach is that we have to do only two iterations while in the presentation we have to do iterations three times although it won't impact the time complexity so, so I have some successfully submitted the algorithm 99% faster, which is pretty good. Also guys, with immense pleasure, I would like to announce that Nancy Agrawal, one of the subscribers of Coding Decoded, has cracked Microsoft. She was part of TCS. She started her journey three years back from TCS, from a tier three college. And this video goes live tomorrow. She has talked about her preparation strategy, what all she did in order to crack Microsoft, Goldman Sachs like companies. And I promise once you will go through this video, you are going to thoroughly enjoy this up. So if such a goal is on your charter, this video is for you.
I'll see you tomorrow with another fresh question. Take care. Goodbye. And guys, please subscribe to Coding Decoded. Your subscription really means a lot to me.